No one wants to get their music stolen. And so with that in mind, do you need to copyright your music? And if so, how do you go about doing that? Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna walk through everything you need to know about copywriting your music. Hey, I'm Reagan Ram with OrpheusAudioAcademy.com, helping you make better music and grow your fan base online. Now, I had these same questions about copyright. Do I need to go and copyright my music? And so I decided to reach out to an intellectual property and patent attorney named Adam Woodward. He also just so happens to be my brother-in-law. And I did a full interview with him walking through all the different legal questions surrounding music, for example, trademark, covers, sampling, and more. And so if you wanna watch that full interview, I'll have that linked in the description below. Or you can also grab a my handy legal cheat sheet, which kind of covers all the basis for what you need to know when it comes to the legal side of your music. And that's also linked in the description below. Or you can go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash legal. But concerning copyright, what do you need to do to make sure that you are safe? Well, first off, you already own the copyright to your music. The copyright isn't something that the government creates. It's already been created when you create your piece of art, whether that's music, a painting, or a novel. If you've created it, you own the rights to it. Copyrights are registered. Like you'll register a car. You still have the car. The car still exists before it's registered. And that's an important distinction. Copyrights are not created by filing something with the government or by doing something with the government. That helps. That helps, to be sure. But copyrights exist the same way when you build a chair or you build something, you make something with your own hands, you automatically own it. You don't have to right. tell anyone, this is mine. However, if you register it, like when you register the car, it gives you certain rights and abilities and helps you comply with certain formalities that you might need later on down the line. So why might you want to register your copyright with the government when you already technically own it? Well, the problem is that default copyright you own, it doesn't have any legal teeth, meaning you can't actually take any legal action against anyone with that copyright alone. You need to actually register your copyright. And when you register, now you actually have the legal power to take action. For example, you can sue people if they are copying or ripping off your music. You can also prevent pirated copies of your music from crossing the border. And then you can do this without actually having to hire a lawyer or sue anyone. And in general, it just gives you more control over your work. So with that in mind, I definitely think it's a good idea to register a copyright for your music. And this is pretty simple to do and it doesn't cost a lot of money either. If you're in the US, you can simply go to copyright.gov and follow the online steps to register your copyright. Now, if for any reason you aren't ready to do this, maybe you don't have the money, there are some actually legal hacks that you can implement to secure your rights to your music so you can prove that it's yours and that you were the first one to create it without actually having to go and register your copyright. Adam walked me through these hacks in our interview here. All right, now you know how to handle copywriting your music. And if you want more answers to different legal questions surrounding your music, then definitely check out that full interview I did with Adam. Again, that is linked in the description below, or you can grab my music legal cheat sheet, which is also linked in the description. Now that you know how to protect your music, you might be looking for ways to actually start monetizing your music brand. And if you wanna know the top seven passive income streams that you can generate as a music artist, then check out my video that's playing on the screen right now. Otherwise, keep creating and I'll see you in a future video.